What is going on, Fairy Squad? This is your girl, Dana, a.k.a. The Black Fairy, and I am here with a love reading today on this beautiful Friday. Um, I haven't done one in a little while, so I wanted to, you know, pretty much just do one because I haven't done one in a little while. <laughs> with that being said, if you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram. That's at Black Fairy Tings. Um, also, do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click that notification bell. Also, please remember that this video will not resonate with all of you. And if you would like a personal reading, feel free to reach out to me at bookwithbfg at gmail.com. Now, all of this information is located below. So I'm just going to get into it. Let's get started. Let's see what's happening. So I'm, as per usual, I'm going to start with the Fairy Oracle deck. Then I'm going to do some Romance Angels. And if necessary, some Clarity cards with the traditional Tarot deck. All right? So let's get started. Spirit of the Universe, I call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. What message do you have for the collective? We seek your love. We seek your divine clarity and we seek your advice. What message do you have? going to pull three cards. Okay, so these three cards have been coming up a lot these past few weeks. <laughs> um, strangely enough, I remember it from a, a, the last couple of readings that I did for the weekly, and it seems like it's still carrying through in regards to this um, particular reading. Um, so the first card is a new location. Now, I'm sure just as um, anybody else during this time, we find ourselves in a new place emotionally, physically, mentally. And we may not be tolerating things the way that we um, thought. Maybe we've changed our mind on how we think love looks and feels like. Maybe we're starting to realize that the love that we have um, isn't for us or that it's not working the way that we believe it to. And the reason why I say that is because we have the stand your ground card. You're being urged to stand your ground at this time. Stand your ground in what it is that you desire. Stand your ground in your worth. Stand your ground in what it is that you truly believe that you deserve in regards to these relationships that you're trying to attract and manifest in your life or the relationships that you're currently in. The third card is the magic of nature, okay? Now, this really has to do with you getting in tune with yourself. Maybe you're not sure how to stand your ground. Maybe you need more focus. Maybe you need more grounding. You're in this new place spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, and it can be overwhelming. What the universe wants you to know is that what can help you and assist you with this is getting yourself grounded within. Now, I do know that there is a quarantine. Many of us, many of us are quarantined at this time, but that does not mean that you are unable to ground yourself. There is yoga that you can do. You can simply listen to a grounding meditation music on YouTube right here. Um, you know, Sitting outside on your balcony or porch, not necessarily going outside into the public or public areas, um, such as parks, with many, which in, for many people, they're unable to go to those places. You know, just sitting on your balcony, sitting on your porch, um, opening a window even and allowing the fresh air in your home will allow you to feel more grounded. So this is about you coming in tune with yourself your wants, your needs, your desires, what it is that you're truly worthy of, what are you receiving that love that you are worthy of, um, etc. So that is the beginning of this. Let's get into the romance angels and see what they got to say in, in regards to all this. Okay, let's get some more clarity with the with how this tunes into our romantic lives, right? Spirit of the universe, I call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. 
We call forward your romance angels. We just got one drop. We call forward your romance angels. And we ask what your message is in regards to those of us who are in relationships or seeking relationships during this love reading. What message and advice do you have for us? We seek your guidance, your love, and your divine clarity. Okay, so I actually usually don't look at the bottom of the deck. I know a lot of readers do, but um, I actually just turned it over. And I want to show you guys, look, we have the wedding card, right? Which means that this situation could involve marriage. You know what I mean? Or the next situation could involve marriage. Now, from what I'm seeing from the, from the cards that we pulled, the very first card that fell out the deck was expressing your love. You know, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And when I tie in with the cards that we pulled before with the Fairy Oracle deck, remember, it said that you guys are in a new location. You want to stand your ground. You want to become more grounded. And, be, and through all that, you can express your love. Maybe you're holding yourself back. Maybe you didn't realize that this person you fell for was the one for you. Maybe you're not standing your ground in what it is that you believe, understanding that you are worthy of this person's love not expressing your this new place that you're in with them with your feelings um there is a lot of chemistry between you and this person or between you and the person that you're bound to meet you know there's a strong magnetic connection maybe unexplainable and maybe that's what has you in this new place you're like wow i've never felt this way before about anybody what's going on and this third card is the soulmate card, which would, this is what's going on. Yes, this is your soulmate. Many of you have come across your soulmate, have tapped into this chemistry, um, which maybe even scares you. Like, that's why you're having problems expressing your love. And this is why they're telling you to stand your ground and stand in what it is that you feel um, and ground yourself so that you're able to get courage to express the love that you're feeling. Because when you are grounded, you are more courageous, you are more strong, and fear depletes. So this could be all a part of it, okay? Let's get some more cards. Yeah, look at this very soon. Clearly decide what it is that you want um, so that it comes to you now is the card. You know, it's, it's about, again, expressing yourself decide that you want this love with this person decide that this is where you want to be decide that this love that you have in front of you or that's coming to you is um worthy of you that you're worthy of it that you are able to um not be afraid to show the emotions that may come along with these new feelings, these unfamiliar feelings and this unfamiliar connection that may be kind of even being putting fear in your heart. You know, sometimes when we come across a love at our soulmate, some of us get scared. Some of us hold back. Some of us withdraw. This is where you want to open yourself up. Um, this card next is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more, more romantically attractive. And how I feel this ties into everything is really about you understanding that as long as you love yourself first, you have no one to worry about. Your worthiness and your happiness comes from within. And the people that we come across and we encounter, they add to that love. They add to that um, to that happiness. Um, they are not the stem of it. And when we can come into um, realization with that and we accept that, something happens, right? And we find ourselves in, in better situations. We find ourselves in better relationships. And we find ourselves getting the respect and the love that we deserve from those that we desire. But it all starts with you. It all starts within you. 
Now, this third card is the passion card. It's asking you to allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. Again, I feel like many of you are scared of this connection that you've made and created. You're unsure about it. You're, you've never felt this way before, like I said. And it's super passionate and it's super strong. And the angels really want you to allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy about this. This is a good thing. This is an amazing thing. If you found this connection, if you found this love, do not give it up because of your ego and because of your fear and because of things that have happened to you in your past. It's time for you to open up that heart chakra and allow yourself to have the love that you desire. Yeah, and this is, this all ties in because look, we have the forgiving and learning card. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment, which goes back into what I was saying about how you need to love yourself first and how that foundation is should be the foundation of any relationship that you attract into your life. You know, you have to forgive the past and release what no longer serves you. If your fears are based on how other people treated you in the past, it's time for you to release it and let it go so that you can fully um, embrace the love that's going to enter into your life or that has entered into your life in this moment. It's time for you to let go and leave the baggage behind. Learn from it. Keep the lessons so that you're able to, um, you know, make sure that, of course, it doesn't happen to you again, but also so that you're able to be a better partner yourself. Um, I go again, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You know, so don't let the, the negative thoughts you may be having and feeling um, in regards to this relationship. I feel like there's a lot of fear in regards to this relationship that some of you are um, trying to manifest into your life or are currently in right now. But your optimism and your positivity towards this relationship and its possibilities can make or break this situation. The angels want you to know that this is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. You know, if you may feel like you're not ready, but the only thing that's really holding you back is fear. Fear of love, fear of being loved, fear of loving someone more than they love you is what I'm hearing. Um, you know, and that's understandable. And I want you to understand that um, it's totally natural, especially if you've been heartbroken before, especially if you've um, been hurt by someone that you opened your heart to. You know, it can be quite devastating. And I want you to understand that that's completely normal. But what you can't do is bring that trauma into a new relationship that you're trying to develop. It's super important that you open your heart and allow this love to grow and progress in the divine timing that the angels are speaking of. You know, and again, going back to you, you know, we saw that the, the wedding card was there. This relationship could very well lead to marriage, but you're going to have to look within and figure out what it is that is blocking you from accepting this love, from receiving this love. Sorry, I know so many of you that contact me in regards to your love life. And a lot of it stems from your insecurities, not necessarily from the person that you're dating right now, but maybe from others around you that have hurt you. Maybe not even boyfriends and girlfriends. Maybe it's your relationship with your parents, you know. But again, going back to this card, you need to forgive and learn from those lessons so that it can help you ascend and be the great a greater person. Be a better partner and also just so that you can be a little bit more free and accepting the love that's being offered to you let's do some tarot spirit of the universe i call you forward in love light righteousness and truth what message do you have for the collective in regards to this love reading we seek your guidance your love and your divine clarity
Yep. This is just confirmation, you guys. This is just confirmation of exactly what it is that I've been saying this whole time. We have the Wheel of Fortune card. There's a new cycle happening and um, a new chapter starting for you. And it all begins, and, and a lot of you are ready to, to enter this new chapter here with the Six of Swords. You know, you've learned your lessons. You're coming out of the fog, just as this picture depicts. You know, she's coming out of the fog. She's le and, and these swords are representing all the lessons that she's bringing with her. Again, we said that, right? Forgiving and learning. A lot of you are learning to forgive and are learning the um and learning to take the lessons out of the traumatizing experiences that you've had when involving um love and your heart and you're allowing yourself to um do that and and to and to receive what is coming your way again opening that heart chakra opening your your heart to someone else um you are the sole person that is holding you back with here with the two of swords. This card is a representation of you um, being bi blinded and, and not allowing yourself to cross through. As you can see, you can't see her hands, which means she's available to take this blindfold off and to cross this gate and this threshold whenever she feels ready. So the question, my question to you is, are you truly re ready to receive the love that it is that you desire to, des to receive the love that, I personally truly believe that you deserve. You know, these are questions that you have to ask yourself. And if the answer is no, it's time for you to really look within and and and, and find out why that is. Yeah, a lot of you are ready to go on to that next chapter. You found some balance and you're you're ready to move forward. Um, here with the Three of Pentacles card. You know, you're ready for that next chapter. You're ready to be in love. You're ready to have that, that loving partner come into your life or even accept the one that is in your life and to start anew and to, and to remove that ego and allow yourself to enjoy the relationship for what it is. We see here with the Star card in reverse, that the the balance has been a struggle for you. However, you're you're you're, you're I feel like you're you you guys are in and out of it. Like maybe one day you feel super balanced in this relationship, and then the next something may trigger you, um, which which sets you back. You're gonna want to check that. You're gonna have to trust your intuition here with the high priestess. You know this card is a representation of your your power and your strength. And your, and your position in life. And it's time for you to understand that you can trust the feeling. So if you do have those feelings of love and you do have the feeling of connection, you can trust this feeling. You don't have to um, worry about um, outside sources and what they think. Your intuition is enough. If this feels real to you, if this feels like love to you, if this feels like it's worth pursuing um, or maintaining or in keeping, you know... It, trust yourself. You are powerful. You are, you are all knowing, <laughs> you know, you have those instincts um, and that intuition for a reason. And it's time for you to embrace that about yourself. I'm going to pull three more cards from this deck and then we're going to finish up. Yeah, you guys are holding, you're holding yourself back from the love that you desire. You know, we have here with the Eight of Swords, again, another, again, kind of like the Two of Swords, right? Except she's surrounded by all these problems and she's blindfolded. Her hands are tied, but if you look, the chain is not attached to anything. She can release herself from this situation whenever she pleases. She can untie her hands and, un and, and take off the blindfold at any point and decide and choose to learn from these 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 lessons that surround her that maybe in your mind are representations of all the things that have gone wrong the last time you opened up your heart, the last time you let down your walls, the last time, you know, you just, you, you chose love and you feel like, and, and a lot of, you know, this, you're coming out of a position we're here with the seven of wands is it seven. Yeah. Seven of wands. Um, where if I turn it upright, you can see that his back's against the wall. All these people are coming at him. You had all these emotions, all these things coming at you. You're unsure of what you want to do, but you are, many of you are ready to come out of this stage. You're ready to find that new love, to be involved in that new love, to have this new partner, which is amazing and beautiful. But you guys have got to find yourselves in a place where you're able to receive what it is that you desire. You can't just sit down and manifest someone great and not do the preparation work like 
like dealing with your demons and dealing with your past trauma and 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 feel like a relation the, the next relationship that comes along is going to be beneficial to you. I say that because the queen of pentacles is in reverse. You know, the wealth, the potential for wealth and love and abundance and prosperity is there for you in regards to your love life. But if you continue to hold on to what doesn't serve you, you'll continue to feel this way. You'll continue to push people away, whether it's intentional or unintentional, whether it's consciously or subconsciously, you will be doomed to repeat the same thing over and over again, not allowing yourself to have to have, um, you know, the relationship that you that you desire to have. Let's finish up this reading with some spiritual guidance cards. OK, guys. Spirit of the universe, I call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. What message of guidance do you have for the collective in regards to this love reading? We seek your guidance, your love, and your divine clarity. This is Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, a divine plan. Another card that is that has been that kind of ties into everything. Remember, I've been saying this whole reading that the time is now for you to set the foundation within yourself by resolving the problems and under um, so that you're able to lay a better foundation for this relationship that you either want to manifest or that you're already involved in. Um, when you think about Anna, the grandmother of Jesus, many forgot that, you know, she paved the way. She gave birth to Mary, who then gave birth to Jesus. So she set the foundation. She was a part of the foundation that brought Christ to earth. And in this card, it's a representation of that foundation needing to be built um, and needing to make sure is firm and steady in order for this divine plan that the universe has for you to work out in your favor. I'm going to pull a couple more cards. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to leave it there. Let's not do too much. I'm already 20 minutes in and I didn't want to make this video too long. With that being said, you guys have all the potential in the world to receive the love that you desire, to receive the relationship that you want. Many of you have met this person already. Many of you have this soulmate already um, in your lives and you may be taking them for granted or, or maybe subconsciously, maybe consciously pushing them away due to things that aren't their fault and that not based on what they've done to you. So if you want to have this relationship truly work for you, you're going to have to open up your heart, release what no longer serves you, and allow this new love to bloom and flourish and be everything that it's meant to be. Remember, we saw at the bottom of the deck that wedding is in your future. Love is in your future. This situation will involve marriage, but you've got to handle what you need to handle. You've got to set a good foundation for this relationship to start off um, in. So, so that way it does lead to this, to this, if that is what you desire. With that being said, guys, that concludes our reading. I hope that it was beneficial and that you were able to gain something from it. Um, love is right there waiting for you. It's just time for you to open your arms and accept it. Um, with that being said, I love you. I believe in you and you got this. Please stay tuned for more. I will be posting more videos. And again, I appreciate you guys. All right, then. I love y'all. Talk to you soon.